All right. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Yeah, I mean, he looks it. Yeah. Ew, his teeth are actually dirtier. He's been eating more poop than Framped. Mm. All right, hey, Keith. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Kaf. Oh, I God. can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. We'll get to it. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul. It was like a ghost dark rare. Soul. <gasps> your ancestor claimed the dark souls and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the age of men. The age of dark. And then Gwen was like, OP, However, please nerf. Lord so Gwen hanging out in this at the dark. dark area. Yeah, this seems like an awesome place. age of fire and in dire fear of humans and the dark lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the Primordial Serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other Serpent, Frapped, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. E do we want to usher in an age of dark? Uh, so your choice is right now? That's interesting. Well, he wants you to take and plant the Lord Vessel, just like Framp did. Uh-huh. So why do we... I mean, I don't fucking care. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Oh, okay. so you're going to the final boss right now? <laughs> and trust thine flesh to me. Now we're getting another Vor fetish. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, no. Delicious. But unlike Frampt, he doesn't do it dumb. He comes up from below. Block. What? Thank you. This is Gwyn's prison. Ye now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. That altar? <gasps> the altar right there? So this decision seems like it matters, but doesn't? Nope. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll do it for you. I'm done with Framped. Okay. Yeah, I'll place the Lord Vessel. I need to do this anyway. All right. Uh, uh, oh, God. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, Are I'm we just carrying that around? Yo! Damn. Yeah, I was fighting all the bosses with that on my back. That's amazing. It's like, oh, oh, that makes things so much easier. <laughs> oh, oh. And that dragon head makes things look so much stupider. Oh, oh, that's tickling Tramp's butthole right now. Yes, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, Undead. Did you kill Tramp? Nope. Oh, I killed good. the piss filters. Oh. There's the one in the Tomb of the Giants. There's the one in the Gabgo Glabgo Lad's prison. Okay. And there's the one in the Demons. Mm. All right, the piss filters are now dead. The end game has opened up, and it is also a bonfire. Okay. Now, the only difference is you can offer souls to the Lord Vessel. Oh. Uh, uh, so, if you don't place the Lord Vessel, like, do you never get a chance to do it again? Uh, no, every time you come down here. Oh, 
And if you get the serpents to go away, you can just drop down where Fram is. Oh, okay. So you don't even need them. I see. And if you don't place the Lord Vessel, can you just not progress? Yeah, you have to place it to progress. Uh, Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Yep. Seek Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. <laughs> yeah. Fill this vessel with their souls. Got it, boss. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Then let us return to the abyss and trust thine flesh to me. You got it, boss. So, this character is hard to meet. Okay. You have to ignore Framed. Uh -huh. You have to go kill uh, Sif. Okay. And then you have to come down here and kill the four kings. Right. If you place the Lord Vessel before doing any of that, he won't show up. Interesting. And he tells you a lot more about what the fuck's going on. Ah, yeah. If you wish, I shall grant the art life of life drain. Oh yeah, by the way, there's the this. The legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Undead warrior, to speak now is premature. It begins with your retrieval what? of the Lord Vessel. So this doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> Farewell. So, what I love about these serpents is they're both lying through their teeth to you. Oh, okay. Well, you listen to Frampt, and Frampt is like, you're going to succeed, Lord Gwyn. You're going to become his replacement. Right. Chosen undead. And he's filling you with all these grandiose terms. Yeah. And what he wants is for you to chuck your dumb ass onto a fire. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, you come down here, and he's like, I'm telling you the truth. You can trust me. Think about where he is right now. Right. He's under a literal mountain of corpses. Yeah. So they're both full of shit, and they're both manipulating you for your own end. Are they telling you the true lore, though? Yes. Okay. All the lore they're telling you is true. It's just two different sides of the same coin. Okay. Because Frampt is right. He does want you to succeed Lord Gwyn. He right. does want you to replace Lord Gwyn. Because Lord Gwyn sacrificed You're himself sorry, on that fool. thing. Yep. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. Bye. Okay. So, you can't kill either of them. They do have a health bar, but you can't one-shot them. And after you go over a certain damage threshold, they leave. Okay. Uh, they are the one entities I can think of in the entire game you can't kill. In theory, you can even kill the bird. It even has a death animation and a set number of souls it drops. Oh, okay. But after dealing enough damage, it will, too, fly away. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of killing people, we're going to say goodbye to our good friend here. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything. Oh, so he like gets it. all depressed because you're better than him? No. Oh. So you have two options here. When you go find chaos pyromancy, which is what you get from the fair lady, yeah, you have the option of telling him about it or no. Okay. If you tell him no, he goes, "Oh, well, I suppose you know best. It might be dangerous. Uh -huh. You're right. I shouldn't know about it." Okay. You tell him yes. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate him myself. And then he goes and eats shit death yeah. once again. Because remember where you met him. Uh... Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. He was Are you there yeah, when, or something? When you met him, he was already caught in the depths, no. not even down into Blight Town. Right. And she's down past Blight Town. Yeah. So he goes down there, and next time I go into Blight Town, he'll be like Sephra and be a hostile NPC in the zone. Okay. Oh, and there's one more thing to do down in uh, New London. All right. Something everyone forgets about. By the way, Boy and Peace. Yeah, Boy and Peace, Ephra. All right. Quick little little jaunt down there to pick up something for Ellen. I forgot about it, too. Yeah. 
because I totally knew about it. Yeah. Whatever it is. Well, we have a friend out here. <gasps> and it's not the fella who masturbates all day. He is never leaving that room. Okay. And that's... The guy down there is kind of the major difference between Dark Souls 1 and the other Dark Souls games. Mm -hmm. All the other Dark Souls games kind of imply that if you don't re-up your humanity, eventually you will just progressively go more hollow. Yeah. In this, it's implied that as long as you don't die, you're never going hollow. Okay. So all the jackasses that kind of just lock themselves in a room actually have the right idea. Yeah. They're not going to lose their humanity. They might lose their minds from just fucking boredom. Yeah. But, no, they're they are going to remain human the whole time. Okay. Is it worth it? Uh, that is the question. <laughs> is it better to live forever doing nothing or die prematurely trying to accomplish something? Right. But also, like, if you're going to be crazy, you may as well just go mindless and hostile. Yeah. There's a couple of characters that it's implied it's like they're doing it for the safety of others. That would make sense. But others are just like, no, I'm not going hollow. Fuck that. Literally anything is better than that. Yeah. Which is like, how would you even know? Have you been hollow before? Has any hollow told you what it's like? Yeah. Maybe they're in utter bliss. Yeah, they could be really hype about it. You yeah. don't know. Yeah. I mean, they seem like horrible drug addicts, but maybe they're happy. Maybe, maybe. I'm trying to remember the fastest route to get to this guy. I think if I go down here and go backwards, it's faster. Okay. And I get to kill a couple of dirt wraiths and maybe get some goodies. Dirt wraiths? Yep, some dork wraiths. Oh no. Alrighty, dork wraith number one. Big flashy combat styles are most effective. Do you have any idea why they chose dark to represent humanity? Ah. Uh, it's a very loaded word. I think that's why. And I think it's also the contrast between the divine and the mundane. Okay. And this fire brings light. Yeah. And I think the the contrast that all right, so before I keep stumbling all over my words, uh -huh. I've heard a lot of different interpretations as to what everything means in Dark Souls, because this is a game that people have picked apart yeah. for fucking years. Yeah. My favorite reading of it is it's a comparison between the ugly truth and the beautiful lie. Okay. The gods are all lying to you, but they are all beautiful, and the world they have created is gorgeous, Right. and it looks great. Humanity is this filthy, self-serving, ugly mess, but it is real. Uh-huh. So, the Dark Soul is compared with physicality, it is what is actually going on, and it's, it's life in all of its beauty and all of its terror. Mm -hmm. While the, the Light Soul is the beautiful lie, it's the ideals, it's the perfections, it's all the things we can never be. Okay. And which is better? And that's the question you ask at the end. Is it better to keep up this horrible cycle of bullshit where people are constantly dying over nothing mm -hmm. and we have to keep sacrificing ourselves to maintain this unmaintainable system that we know, or do we burn it all down and live with what's left? Because hmm. a lot of human nature is evil. A lot of human nature is dark. A lot of human nature is violent. Right. Interesting. Of course, that does, uh... That does create a false dichotomy. Because humans can get better. Yeah. <laughs> like, there is hope in the ugly truth. Yeah. And I think that's part of it. Uh... Where the fuck? Oh, there's the door. Ah, uh, okay. I just wonder, where the fuck am I? Yeah, okay. Not like I can help you. <laughs> yeah. We are going up there. Which I think... I think I go this way. No, that just gets me a different item. Hmm. That I forgot. Oh, hi. Go away. Oh, sweet. I got both. Yay. Hey, fuck you, ghosts. 
Once I get this, I will never have to deal with you again. Thank the gods. Never, ever, ever, ever. You'll be gone forever. Ow. You'll never, ever, ever write a song about the city. <clears throat> yeah, you guys can keep tapping my butt. I don't care. Don't even care. Don't ask. Jeez, Stop. please. Rude. Go away. Yeah, I'm noticing that you're taking a lot less damage. Uh, the other thing is I went and upgraded my armor as oh, well. Oh, that would do it. So, I have more health, I'm taking less damage. Uh, I get to play more stupidly now, which you're, you're I probably actually, should have done. You're actually a viable build now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if I'd, play, if I'd been playing my old build back when uh, I really knew what I was doing with this game, it would have been something. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, the skill level I was at at the beginning of this playthrough, it's like, no. Yeah. No, I have fucking forgot how to play this game. Ah, fucking maze of ability. Mm -hmm. This is not where I want to go. Yeah, hi, ghosts. Oh, my curse right now. Uh-oh. Ah, no big deal. I got 11 more. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Doomed. It's full of oh, no. ghosts. <laughs> I was kind of hoping... Zoinks! <laughs> kind of hoping one of them will drop their dagger. Yeah. Because their dagger has a hilarious animation. Oh. No. No dagger for us. Darn. So, the heavy attack with the dagger is your character just... Flips it upside down and starts stabbing like a madman. That's neat. Alright. <gasps> hey, buddy. Oh, it's this guy. Guess what? Who gave you the Lord Vessel. Yep. Magnificent. You defeated the four kings. Impressive. Even for a bearer of the Lord Vessel. Yeah, and I did it. With this, my purpose is exhausted. I have not seen the sun for a long time. Perhaps I could do with a change. Cool. Do it. So he will now move up to uh, Firelink. Firelink. Okay. Uh, depending on the order you do the game, he can be either incredibly useful or completely useless. All right. Um, he can remove curses, and he sells uh, the item that removes curses. Ah, oh, okay. So uh, if you're planning on doing the... Uh, Ah, damn it, why am I blanking on it? Uh, the Great Hollow. Uh -huh. the, the place with all the basilisks. Okay. After you do this zone, he is crazy helpful. Okay. Uh, but if not, then it's like, oh, well, whatever. He's just a guy. Yeah, he is just a guy. And he shows up in a place that's really fucking awkward. So it's really easy to miss him on top of everything else. Uh -huh. Like, even if you come back and talk to him, it's like, hey, yo, I killed the four kings like, suck my dick or whatever, uh, he'll still, like, just be in an awkward, out-of-the-way place. Hmm. I feel like Dark Souls 3 really got the whole, uh, Firelink Shrine down much better than Dark Souls 1, because it's just easier to navigate. Okay. Alright, uh... Don't fall off the edge. Yeah. Because Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls 3 is just a loop. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm back at the beginning. Yeah. As opposed to this central bonfire with, like, 20,000 offshoots. Yeah. No, in Dark Souls 3, it's uh, just this circuit that you can run. Uh, and NPCs show up in very predictable places there. Okay. And speaking of Firelink, we're going to go say hello to Haircut. <gasps> Because we need to have a chat. Yeah, we do. We need to have a chat with Haircut. We're going to be like, hey, you're kind of an asshole. Just FYI. Yeah. So those guys are hollow, but they're not attacking. Right. Why? So, hollowing out reverts you to your natural state. Okay. Because if you remember from the opening cutscene, the pygmies were the natural state. And they went and found souls, and the souls made them human. Okay. The hollows are the natural state of the world. Okay. Uh, and the hollows that attack you are the ones that hunger for souls to go back to what they were. Uh -huh. While there are other hollows that seem docile, that either seem at peace with their new form, or are kind of locked in a weird self-loathing. Okay. So becoming hostile, I mean, becoming hollow 
means that you lose your humanity, you lose who you are, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go out and kill people. Right. It's just in most cases, the hostile hollows will go kill all of the non-hostile hollows. They have this sort of... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's way closer than I thought. <gasps> it's been a while. I thought he was all the way back down there, but he's just right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Also, the damn, you're fast. Made yeah. me wince. But now I've come back to this dark hole. <laughs> so what brings you here? I will help you in any way I can. Yeah, you... Yeah, spell resist curse, transient curse, and you can break curses. Okay.